ウッドロー、これからよろしくな。俺様はコングマンだ。こちらこそ。ウッドローが王様なら、俺様はチャンピオンだ。似たようなもんだな。<笑>似てません。Hey everybody, welcome back to Tales of Destiny.、Um, we're mostly going to have some story set up in this episode, but it's all very important. So bear with me as we head in here to pick up Ruti. And we'll mostly have all our members together after that. Is this Ruti's hometown? Or where she grew up, I guess? That's what Stan heard from her. So they're gonna split up and look for her real quick. So let's meet there in the center of town. I'm not sure why they have to split up because it's not really a very big town and it's not gonna be very hard to find Ruti. But I think it's so Stan can kind of have his moment with her first. So, yeah, I want to welcome everybody back to this、uh, playthrough. Hey, there's a bunny girl. Hope everyone's doing great. Having a good week. I'm just gonna look through、uh, you know, some of the houses here, and I always like to look at the design. And... Because, you know, since playing the original Tales of Destiny on the PlayStation 1, you know, way back in the day, this has just really improved on a lot of things. But at the same time, they've kept the, the old feel to the game, which is really nice. They did a really good job making a true、uh, remake. There's Philia checking out somebody's house. That's a little suspicious. Just standing in front of somebody's door. Yeah, we're just gonna go over to the orphanage and grab Ruti here. Nothing exciting in this guy's house. Gotta make sure to talk to the doggy. That's very important. No, not really. I just like the dogs. And then the prince and the princess got married and they lived happily ever after. And that's the end of the story. Ruti, tell us more stories. Tell me a story about defeating giant monsters next. No, I want to hear about the prince and the princess story. We just heard that. It's not fair if we have that story all the time. It's a better kind of story to have the prince and princesses, so let's just do it. Come on, you guys, don't fight over such things. Defeating monsters or stories about princesses? I've got lots of them. I'll tell them all to you. And that seems to have made them happy. What she said before, it's true. Remember, she was joking and said she was lying. And、um, of course, Dimlos wasn't there, so. Dimlos doesn't understand what he's talking about, but 
Yeah, Ruti, what she was saying before was true. So Dimla is asking, why aren't you calling out to her? We need to go. Isn't it better if we just leave Ruti behind and, you know, it's probably not necessary for us to take her with us, right? It's like, what are you saying? Of course it's important for her to come with us. Ruti is you know, having fun with the children and she probably needs to stay here with them or maybe she wants to stay here. It's like, think about the situation. It's no time to be thinking about that. Yeah, it'd be rude if you came all this way and didn't even say anything. You came here and I told you never to come here. What's up with that? Well, well, uh, there's a situation here. So I'll let you off this time. I've got a favor to ask you. You need me and Atwite, don't you? You knew, huh? You know, he's got Dimloss with him, so something must have happened because he gave Dimloss away, remember? He had to give him up, so now that he's got him, something's going on. She's pretty sharp. The Eye of God has been taken again. And Atwite is quite shocked by that. Hey, where's Atwite? I don't see her anywhere. She's in her sheath inside. <laughs> Dimlas can be shocked by that. She was wondering where Leon was, but of course, Stan also doesn't know where he is. He's gone missing. It's like, well, whatever's happened, we can't help it. Let's just uh, get it back. Let's go get it back. And he's like, is it really okay for you to come with us? It's like, hey, you're lucky you get to have a quest with me again. Why are you so hesitant? Are you, you're not happy? You're not happy that I'm coming with you? I'm happy. I'm really happy that you're coming with us, but... Well, that's enough then. It's decided. So she's gonna go pick up Atwite and say goodbye to everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey, kids. Your sister, not real sister, of course, is going out, so take care of the house for me. Again? You're going again, Ruti? Without Ruti here, it's so lonely. Just st be strong. I'll be back soon. Please listen to what the sister says. Be good kids. Okay, we understand. Be careful. Come back safe, Ruti. Alright, she's ready to go at any time and she said her farewells. Serious things have been happening, huh, Dimlos? We need to hurry to Singal Castle. Where is everybody else? We promised to meet in the center of town. Okay. Alright, that's where we're going. And we got Ruti. ヒロバ行かないとね。みんな待ってるんでしょ? 
and they're kind of analyzing her feelings. Although, honestly, for me, I remember the first time I played this game and Stan was saying, you know, we shouldn't take Ruti with us. And I was really shocked because Ruti is one of my favorite characters to have in the party. And, you know, Stan and Ruti, they're both really interesting characters. And Ruti is the healer. So, yeah, not having Ruti is a big problem. Pretty much always have her in the battle party. Not only is she a good healer, but she does have a lot of good uh, sword skills, sniping skills, and, and she's got a lot of good uh, ice spells. So she's a really well rounded character. Really, really useful to have. I'm just doing this dialogue real quick um, to get a title. She got Moto Lens Hunter, previous lens hunter. I guess the orphanage got enough money from her assistance that she doesn't have to you know, hunt lenses for a while. Looks like a decent building, though. All right, let's greet everybody with Ruti. Good job coming to pick me up. Long time no see. So you were in this town after all, huh, Ruti? Yep. Hey, Mary, why are you here? What about your husband? Is it okay for you to be here? It's like, even though I'm here, our hearts are connected. <laughs> she can't win against her. Oh, it's great to see Woodrow and oh. Chelsea, too. Alright, let's go to Daryl Shade. Maybe we can find Leon somehow. Yep, that's true. <clears throat> Aren't you forgetting to say hello to somebody? <laughs> I think that was on purpose. Oh, Kong, you, you were here, huh? <laughs> now he's got to sing the sad song to himself. I'm just kidding, just kidding. Let's head over to Daryl Shade. There's a couple of good skits here, I think. You know, with Mary finally back and... Why are you walking around with a shirt like that, without your shirt? Aren't you embarrassed? He has to appeal as a champion. <laughs> it's embarrassing I would just wear a shirt. Ruti's dream. What's your dream, Ruti? I want to be a cute uh, wife. The Dimlas has a good reaction. And then she says it's a joke. And then of course, Stan believes her, even though he says she says it's a joke, he still believes her anyway. So Chelsea wants to know what Atwite is like because she can't communicate like a big sister. And Ruti slacking off, she's always there to make sure Ruti's working hard. And it's about time to cut it, huh? What should we cut? My hair, it's gotten long. It looks about the same as before. Look, this little section here. It looks the same. No difference at all. If you look at Stan closely, you know, he's kind of got the ponytail. She just suddenly found a lens. All the characters are impressed with her skill of seeing a lens. It's just sitting there in the middle of... You know, it's hard to find. 
べ便利でいいですね無理にフォローしなくてもいいのよ So, wow, you got a convenient ability there to. Oh, look, there's a lens. She can just sort of sense whenever there's a lens nearby. From her money hunting days, and lens hunting days. Yeah, if you look at Stan, he's got kind of a ponytail in his yellow hair, so they were like, they can't really tell that his hair grew long. Wait, there's something here. There's a barking noise. There must be a dog under the sheets. <laughs> well, we need to greet every dog, so I'm glad I didn't miss that. There's something. Some seeds in the barrel over there. Alright, let's head out of Cresta. It's a nice little village. Kinda like the setup. Most of the enemies on the field now should be a piece of cake. Um, you're probably noticing I'm skipping a lot of exploration and treasure chests. You know, there are treasure chests sitting around all over the place. But actually it's better just to not bother with it because later we'll have a flight ability and we can just fly around and land and then pick up all the treasure chests. So it's not really necessary to walk to all the treasure chests and pick them up. We can get them all later. So I'm just mostly heading to our direct goals here, although you know it is possible to do quite a bit more exploration. Here we are in Daryl's Shade. So, you know, there's a lot of exploration that's possible. A lot of the world is open, but it's better just to wait until you get the flying, the flying craft, and then you can just go around and pick up things at your leisure. But that's just me. Maybe I'm lazy. Don't feel like exploring the world. Until I can fly around it. So we're just gonna go straight to the king. Here for his information. Welcome, Sordian masters. Thank you for gathering. It's quite a serious situation. Woodrow wants to know the his details. You know, as much as much information as you know about who stole it. Well, that, as for that information, it was Leon Magnus who stole it. Yeah, that's not cool at all. Leon, what did you just say? That is the criminal who stole the Eye of God from us. That can't be. That's impossible. There's no way Leon could do something like that, or he would do something like that. There's no way. Unfortunately, what is Dryden is saying is true. The other day, Leon took the dragon craft and he used it. You know, damaged the place where the Kami no Me was hidden, the Eye of God was hidden, used it and flew away with it. There's no mistaking it. It's like, what is Shaltier doing? Dimloss is wondering because, you know, Leon has the other Swordian. So, you know, what could he be thinking? He's got, you know, Shaltier with him. So we've got some, you know, serious problems going on here. Atwide is also worried. And some of the Oberon members, you know, those people we went around meeting, like Hugo, 
are absent, they're missing. If you remember, the last time we came here, Hugo was standing there, and he suggested we chase Grebum around. So the, this Oberon company is, you know, in on it. Hugo's the one that also gave them a bunch of money. Do you know where the Dragoncraft went? Do you have an idea of which direction? You know, they did some checks and you know, guesstimation, but they figured out the direction that it was going to a small island. And there's an Oberon factory there that's been abandoned. You know, there's still there's still some things there, and you know it's probably still a usable factory. So the possibility that they went into hiding there at the factory is a very high. So Kong says, "Well, if you know, why don't you just send the army in there and you know get them get them back?" It'd be easy for them to, uh, you know, recognize a large army coming, and they'd be able to escape and then go somewhere that we don't know where they are. So Woodrow's saying, that's where we come in, huh? We're gonna sneak in, you know, without alerting them, so that they don't, you know, they don't have time to fly away on the dragon and, you know, have another place to hide. So we've got to get the giant lens back, the Eye of God, and you know, we've got to sneak in there and catch him by surprise. Leon is, you know, smart, so they want to do this in secret. And they're saying you can do whatever you want to to Leon. You can kill him, you know, whatever. Capture him, kill him, it doesn't matter. So do you mean that we're supposed to be fighting Leon, or we might have to be fighting Leon? He's sorry to put this burden on us. Yeah, but we're the best for the, the Eye of God the lens, but you know, this is gonna be tough for Stan. It's like, he doesn't want to do this. Leon is our very important friend. He's very precious to us. We fought together. We defeated Grebum and we got the Eye of God back with him. There's no way that Leon is doing the same thing as Grebum, you know, stealing the Eye and using it for his own evil purposes. It's like, there's no way I'm going to doubt Leon and, you know, go after Leon and, you know, fight with him. It's like, you're too kind, Stan, don't let your feelings get in the way. It's a serious situation. You're too soft. It's like, I'm still talking, so wait until I'm finished. The first time he seriously interrupted Dimlos. Leon must have a reason, and he's thinking of something, you know, there must be a reason why he's doing this. It's like, so I am gonna go. I'm gonna go there, you know, so that I can figure out what Leon is up to and find the truth. Don't forget that the most important thing is to retrieve the giant lens. The Eye of God. Yes. So, they're gonna send us there by ship. So yeah, this puts you know Stan in a tough position because he, you know, if you noticed, he has a really interesting personality. He trusts people and he always wants to believe in people. So, you know, he's always upset when he hears that a person that he believes and trusts in is, you know, being blamed for something. 
know, it, it bothers Dimloss because he feels Stan is too soft and he trusts everybody without question. But Stan is interesting in that he he sees like good in every single person, even in the villains. And that makes him a really interesting hero in this game, like I've said quite a few times. Um, you know, out of all the Tales series, Stan is one of the coolest heroes, I think. You know, almost every Tales game has their main hero, Luke from Tales of the Abyss, Lloyd, you know, Tales of Symphonia, you've got Rid, Tales of Eternia, but for me, Stan is is really well fleshed out as a character and he's just so interesting and he makes for a really good hero so but he also checks everybody's toilets so yeah that may make him a questionable hero I'm just going ahead and looking at this is Leon's house if anybody was wondering just seeing if anything changed you notice Leon is missing and so is Marion that maid that he was close to. There's just another maid there, but it's not Marion. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go down to the... the docks, and they'll take us out there. But I hope that by the end of the game, you you guys that are watching this will will see how you know interesting and cool of a hero Stan is. Um, I really see him as one of the best heroes in the Tales series. How is Stan doing? He's got, you know, such a serious face, and so he was trying to talk to him, but you know, he refused to talk. He believes in people way too much, he cares about people too much. I told him he, he shouldn't trust everybody, he should have a little bit of doubt in him for each person. I wonder if Stan's gonna be okay. Stan has strong feelings for others. It's unique, most people uh, in the world doubt others, or they're suspicious, but, you know, Stan, he never doubts anybody. He, he always tries to look for the good in each and every person. But in a way, that could be his weakness. Whatever happens, I believe Leon. I believe in Leon. There's no way he could be, a, you know, an evil person. You know, in my opinion, this doesn't seem to be a surprise visit to the factory. We, we just sort of float up in this giant ship, and I think the bad guys could see us coming a mile away. This is the Oberon factory, huh? Also, there's some jamming music in this dungeon. Leon, are you really here somewhere inside? Anyway, let's uh, check the place out. Okay, guys, I'm gonna stop the video here. Um, I try to keep these around 30 minutes. Um, but make sure to come back for the next episode. The next episode is gonna be huge. Uh, we're gonna have some really, really important events happening, and. The next episode, I guarantee, is going to be one of the most exciting. And also, this uh, dungeon, this dungeon is epic. I mean, this place is really cool. It's a pretty big, you know, dungeon. It's got some cool music, cool puzzles. So definitely join me on the next two or few episodes, and we're going to be seeing some cool things happening. We'll see you then.